We've got some difficult days. Don't be afraid. I think I came across Living Voices on the internet. However, it wasn't until I really saw it how the actors interact with the videotape that I could really conceive of the power of the productions. I will talk and won my first campaign for class president. Then we start to get the news about the cities. College students were going on to lunch counters at places that would sell you soap and pencils, but wouldn't let you sit down and drink a cup of coffee. I think this content is very important to people of all ages and cultures. I think that there's also uh, a key uh, link between the present and the past. Woo! Being a Tougaloo, you could almost forget what it was really like to be black in the South. All the whites I met now were Normans. Raymond is the main character in The Right to Dream. He's a young man growing up in Mississippi in the 1960s. He becomes involved with SNCC, the Student Nonviolent Coordinating Committee, and becomes an active member of the Civil Rights Movement. In June, the first volunteers arrive. A few days later, the first victims disappear. Two white and one black. Their car was found empty and badly burnt. Well, an interesting thing uh, that Living Voices has done is taken the right to dream and given it a female perspective. Do you think the man is going to hand you your freedom on a silver platter? No. He'll tell me I'm already free. Women were as involved in the civil rights movement as, as men were, um, particularly on the grassroots level of, of SNCC. We were all looking forward to the March on Washington later in August. But until you really see the live actor and the videotape and the interaction it's very well done very effective at communicating a message you really have to, to see that in action soon we were surrounded the crowd threw food and gum at us they spat in our faces they pushed lit cigarettes into our backs then one saturday mama took me to the movies and i saw jackie there and we ran inside together we didn't know Get out of my lobby. Mama dragged me back outside. I told you about running to places like your owner. But why, Mama? Only white folks are allowed in front of the theater. Negroes sit up in the balcony. I hope that it gives young people a better understanding of history, that it brings history to life for them in a way that's different from just reading a textbook, but seeing the images and hearing the stories of so many real people who lived during those times that they can understand why history would be important and why they might w want and need to understand what's happened in the past in order to have an impact on the world in the future. Mm -hmm.